Hello everybody! Welcome to our TLE virtual class. Now we are in our week 6 of Computer System Servicing Exploratory course for grade 7 and 8. I am your virtual TLE teacher, Ma'am Geraldine O. Moreto. <laughs> Let us put ourselves in the most holy presence of God. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on that we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we formally move on to our week 6 in TLE, why don't we have a recap activity? You're going to answer the following questions. It is a graphical presentation of electrical wiring connections. What is your answer? Right. This is electrical plan. How about this one? identify what type of diagram is presented? Definitely. This is pictorial diagram. So the pictorial diagram is a sketch showing the actual appearance of the electrical components. It's much like of a photograph. How about the second one? Can you identify what type of diagram is presented? This is a schematic diagram. So the schematic diagram is a sketch showing electrical components using electrical symbols. Can you identify what type of circuit is being presented? It is a series circuit. So it is a type of circuit in which lumps are arranged in a chain so that there is only one path to take. How about the next one? Yes, this is a parallel circuit. So in a parallel circuit, the lamps are connected across the wires so that if one lamp fails, the others will not be affected. Congratulations! Now we're moving forward to lesson 5. Terminating and Conducting Electrical Wiring and Electronics Circuits. For our learning competencies, ALA 1, Plan and Prepare for Termination, Connection of Electrical Wiring Electronic Circuit. ALA 2, Terminate Connect Electrical Wiring Electronic Circuits. And for ALA 3, Test Termination Connections of Electrical Wiring and Electronic Circuits. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to check materials according to specifications and tasks, select appropriate tools and equipment according to task requirements, and observe safety procedures in using tools and appropriate personal protective equipment at all times. Are you ready? Look around your area. The electric fan, the television, even the computer, they are all made up of circuits. Now, what is a circuit? An electronic circuit is composed of individual electronic components such as resistors, transistors, capacitors, inductors, and diodes connected by conductive wires or traces through which electric current can flow. Prior to terminating and connecting wires, it is important that you will be familiar with the different hand tools. Electronic technicians in the past accomplished a task or job with a set of screwdrivers, long nose side cutter, and soldering pencil in troubleshooting. Today, the arrival of the new circuit technology and microcircuit is introduced in the industry. Troubleshooting the problem is very multi-phased. It is essential that as beginners, you will be familiar with the different hand tools since it is required in doing terminating and connecting wires. There are two categories of electrical tools. We have hand tools. 
So the handles are handheld devices or tools which can be operated manually by exerting a force. And the other one are the diagnostic tools. The diagnostic tools help us to recognize faulty devices. This will help us know what is wrong with our device or with our circuit. Let's play again. This is entitled Connected. For the instruction, you're going to match column A with column B and C. Let's begin. Okay, so let's try to connect column A to column B. Let's begin with number 1. A tool used to hold, bend, and stretch electronic component and wires. What do you think is the answer? Is it a flat screwdriver, long nose plier, Phillips screwdriver, side cutter plier, or soldering pencil? A tool used to hold, bend, and stretch electronic component and wires. The correct answer for number one is a long nose plier. Number two. A tool used to cut or trim connected wires or terminal leads in the circuit board. Again, a tool used to cut or trim connected wires or terminal leads in the circuit board. What's your answer? The correct answer here is letter D, side cutter flyer. Number 3. A tool used to fasten and loosen negative slatted screw. Negative is slatted screw. Yes, it is letter A, flathead screwdriver. How about number four? A tool used to loosen or fasten the crosshead flathead screw. Definitely a Phillips screwdriver. Number five. An electronic hand tool used to connect two or more metal conductors with melted or soldering lead. Yes, soldering pencil. Did you got it all correctly? I am proud of you. Let us now connect column B to column C. Let's begin with the flathead screwdriver. Where do you think is the flathead screwdriver? Okay, are you sure? This is the flathead screwdriver. Next one, long nose plier. This is the long nose plier. Phillips screwdriver. The side cutter plier. And the soldering pencil. Nice try! Now, aside from those tools, we have other common hand tools. That is the soldering tool. It is used to unsolder unwanted parts or component in the circuit with the support of a soldering pencil. How about the diagnostic tools? So let's begin with the multimeter. So a multimeter is a measuring instrument that can measure multiple electrical properties. A typical multimeter can measure voltage, resistance, and current, in which case it is also known as volt ohm millimeter as the unit is equipped with voltmeter, ammeter, and ohmmeter functionality. Another diagnostic tool we have here, the loopback adapter. A loopback adapter is a network interface that can be used to route network traffic from one application to another on the same computer. And the third one, we have here the toner probe. So what is a toner probe? A toner probe is used to trace network cables between two different locations. Aside from knowing the common hand tools, you must also know the basic electronic equipment. We have multivolts power supply, which is used to supply the desired direct current voltages in the circuit. Then we have here multi-tester. It is used for measuring resistance, voltage, and current. And then the third one, we have portable electric hand drill, which is used for boring hole in the plastic chases. 
In terminating and connecting electrical wiring and electronic circuit, we must also be familiar with the difference of conductors and insulators. Conductors are materials that permit electrons to flow freely, while the insulators are the materials that blocks the flow of electrons. Here are examples of conductors and insulators. In learning electronics, it is also important for you to know and be familiar with other terminologies like wires and cable wires. Wires and cable wires and cables are used synonymously, but they are quite different. A wire is a single conductor, commonly being copper or aluminum, while cable is two or more insulated wires wrapped in one jacket. There are two types of wire a solid wire, and a stranded wire. A solid wire is a single conductor that is either bare or insulated, while the stranded wire is composed of many thin strands of wires twisted together, used where flexibility is important because which the wire can be used for a longer period. Wire termination. Electrical termination is an electrical industry term used to describe the specific point at which a conductive device such as wire or cable ends or starts. A wire typically ends or terminates at the terminal block, but the electricity or signal may be passed on to the terminal connectors. And wire termination method consists of two, soldering and crimping. Soldering is a process in which two or more metal items are joined together by melting and then flowing a filler metal into the joint, the filler metal having a relatively low melting point. Another wiring termination method is called crimping. Crimping is joining two pieces of metal or other ductile material, usually wire and a metal plate, by deforming one or both. This is usually done when we're going to make a LAN or Ethernet cable. After learning the basics in terminating and connecting wires and electrical circuits, now we will move on to our lesson about occupational health and safety procedures. Can you look at the picture closely? What can you see? Yes, it is hazard and risk. Hazard is anything that may cause harm to an individual, such as chemicals, electricity, open drawers, and inadequate ventilation, while the risk is the possibility that somebody could be harmed by this and other hazards and the indications of how serious the harm can be. Looking back on the picture, the hazard is the shark in the sea. And the risk there or the possibility that you will be harmed is greater when you swim in that sea. What are the causes of hazards, particularly electrical hazards? Examples of this are faulty wiring, inadequate connections, and overloaded electrical circuits or loads. How can we manage health and safety at work? First, you need to spot the hazard or identify the hazard. Then, you need to assess the risk. Is it low, medium, or high risk? After risk assessment, you need to evaluate and closely monitor precautionary measures that you need to take. It's quiz time! Get ready with your pen and your ball pen. Let's try to answer this question. Question number one. Mang Pedro wants to unsolder parts in the circuit so he can repair and replace broken components. Which hand tool will help him complete the task? Is it the soldering tool, flat screwdriver, side cutter, plier, or a soldering pencil? What's your answer? The correct answer here is the soldering tool. Number two. Sir John needs an electronic device that can supply direct current voltage to a circuit. What is the best device for this? Is it A, portable electric hand drill, B, side cutter plier, 
C. Multitester or D. Multivolts Power Supply? The correct answer for this is Multivolts Power Supply. Which electronic equipment is used to measure resistance, current, and voltage? Is it A. Soldering Pencil, B. Side Cutter Plier, C. Multitester, or D. Desoldering Tool? What is your answer? The correct answer here is Multitester, letter C. For number four, Mang Poldo wanted to make a hole on his computer metal chasis. What tool will he use? A. Portable electric hand drill B. Side cutter plier C. Multitester or D. The soldering tool What's your answer? The correct answer here is Portable electric hand drill Letter A And for the last item Number 5 It is a connection of both physical and cable end that connects to a different cable or to the terminal of a component. Is it A, soldering, B, fixture joint, C, electrical cable termination, or D, rat tail joint? The answer for this is letter C, electrical cable termination. Did you got it all correctly? Well done! Thank you all for your active participation for our virtual class today. See you in our next class. Goodbye! Thank you.